Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your February 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what you guys need to heal. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective uh, cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Quick announcement, I am doing a giveaway for uh, a free 30-minute free personal reading with me on Zoom. Uh, to enter the contest, uh, I did put the rules uh, in uh, the community tab on my YouTube page. So just take a look at that if you guys want to enter a free reading, okay? Cancer. Tell me about Cancer again. What's going on with Cancer? What does Cancer need to heal? What does Cancer need to heal for February 2024? What does Cancer need to heal for February 2024? Tell me about Cancer. Tell me about Cancer. What does Cancer need to heal? What does Cancer need to heal for February 2024? What does Cancer need to heal for February 2024? Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles here and the Three of Swords. Um, yeah, so Cancer. I do feel like you've been hurt by a lot of people here in and around your life. Perhaps your friends, perhaps your family. It could also be regarding work here. And I do feel like you guys are definitely like really hurt over a lot of the things that people have done to you here. And I feel like right now, I feel like you don't, I feel like some of you guys are really stuck in this energy and really ha having a hard time really gaining the courage and facing and stepping into your power or reclaim your power here uh, uh, regarding people that have hurt you here. You know, I feel like you guys are definitely having a hard time getting back on your own two feet here. Yeah, I, I do feel like it's people in and around you, friends, family, co-workers, okay? You know, Cancer, um, keep in mind, you know, this could be someone that you know in and around your life that's going through this, okay? So let's see what else we have here. Leo energy uh, with the uh, strength card in the reverse. We have the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And the Fool card here, Aries energy, Aquarius energy. <clears throat> I mean, some here could be running away from their pain. You know, some here could be running away from confrontation here. You know, I do feel like there are certain instances in life, yes, you know, there, you know, uh, it's important for you to communicate with people uh, regarding your boundaries here. I, I, I do feel like someone here is getting hurt because with the strength card in the reverse, there's a lack of boundaries here. Someone here has very leaky boundaries, okay? And someone here is asking themselves why they keep getting hurt is because someone here could be allowing it, you, you know? So, you know, so Cancer, like I said, this could be you, this could be someone else. Just apply this to your own unique situation here, the full card here. You know, sometimes... The suffering that we create in our life, sometimes we do allow it. So this is about being conscious and aware of that, you know? So this is about having boundaries here. Look at that. We have seven of wands here. This is about drawing the line in the sand here with people. Not just physically, but also energetically too. Energetically, with also with spirit and stuff like that. Uh, because maybe sometimes you might feel the energies of other spirits bombarding you and you could be feeling that pain or that you could be taking on that pain here too okay you could be you could be that type of person that processes other people's pain here yeah there are uh you, there are light workers that are capable or able to do that uh the problem is when the, uh, uh, when someone has the ability to do that it does take a toll on someone's body here okay with the two of pentacles here and the knight of wands we have the three of cups and the lovers here gemini energy the strength card in the reverse in the page of swords, yeah. I feel like someone here has been um, taken advantage of multiple times in romantic relationships here. And like I said, it doesn't have to be romantic relationships. It could be friendships here. It could be family situations. It could be, it could be co-workers here too. Page of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like the leaky boundaries started when someone here uh, was a kid. 
You know, maybe this is a learned behavior. Uh, maybe someone here th was uh, learned that, you know, this is how you find love. This is how you keep a man. This is how you keep a woman or something like that. This is how you keep friends. No, that's not how you, how you keep that. Uh, you know, I, I, it's, if anything, it creates a very unbalanced and uh, unhealthy situations uh, when you uh, do go into it with that type of mindset here. The Three of Swords here and the Five of Cups, the Three of Pentacles here and the Death, uh, death card here, Scorpio energy. So I feel like all this is, I mean, all this happened for a reason here because you're meant to learn something here. Uh, you're meant to make changes here. You're meant to evolve and grow. And I feel like you guys are in the process of doing that here, even though it's really hard, Cancer. Scorpio energy with the death card. Tell me what else does Cancer need to know? What else does Cancer need to know here? What else does Cancer need to know? What else does Cancer need to know? Look out for, work on February 2024 for Cancer. Okay, the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This is about facing your fear about people not liking you, perhaps. Or being loved by others. You know, the, here's the thing. In life, you know, I think everyone has to learn that you can't please everybody. You know, you can't have everyone that you come across in life, life just like you. That's just not how it works, you know, because in life, when we go through life, we meet people, we connect people on a deep soul level. And when people don't like you, it, those are just not your people. They're not your soul tribe, you know, and you just have to accept that. Yeah. So let's see what else we have here with the four cups here in the world. Okay. Ten of cups here and the king of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, Cancer, you will overcome this. You will find happiness here. You will do the right thing here in overcoming your fears and facing your pain and your hurt here. It's not an easy thing. You know, keep in mind, you know, anything that we sit go through in life, especially in a situation like this that's really uncomfortable, it's meant to teach us something. And I always say, when you're dealing with something as significant as this, you know, such as grief, such as pain, such as hurt here, it's your best friend. It's teaching you something here. So it's just better to embrace it than to turn your back on it, you know, because at the end of the day, you'll learn something from it. You'll grow, you'll, you'll evolve. So there's, there's definitely a sense of moving forward here or moving forward with some sort of healing work here regarding the broken heart that you've been dealing with and also creating boundaries with people here because leaky boundaries opens up the doorway for people to hurt you. You know, uh, when someone sees you being very generous, very kind, and you're giving that energy away freely, you know, a lot of times, you know, assholes out there just, just take advantage of people like that, you know? So with the four cups here, with the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy, the world card, and the Wheel of Fortune here. It's time. It's time to change. It's time to let this go. You know, it's time to, you know, uh, kind of like, it's time to reclaim your power here and not give your power away to people, okay? So the Queen of Wands here, the World, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups here, the Nine of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Wow. Cancer. The, I mean, this is something what you've been going through might have already happened or might have already passed. And I feel like the hard work that you've been doing here, I do feel like the universe is about to re send you a really big reward. And I feel like it's a show, it's your soulmate that's coming into your life here. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is going to make you really, 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 really happy. You know, I feel like forming the boundaries helped you form a, a better relationship with yourself. And now I feel like the universe is saying that, hey, cancer is ready to have a relationship because Cancer has formed or has created a strong, firm, solid foundation with themselves here, you know? So Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.